Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kay and I do beauty related videos and if that sounds like your cup of tea, please make sure you subscribe. And as you can see by the title today, we are going to be talking about Patrick Tarr's new and first eyeshadow palette. So this is the box. I have not opened it yet. I am very, very excited to try this out. Um, I have never tried anything from Pat. Pat Patrick Tar before. I was gonna say Pat McGrath, but yeah, I've never tried anything from Patrick Tar before. He's like a luxury makeup artist. He's a celebrity makeup artist, and he's also a luxury makeup producer. I don't know if that's the term, but he produces luxury makeup. So yeah, I am very excited to try this out. This palette was fifty-eight pounds. That is. Insane. This is probably the most expensive palette I own And I am very 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 excited to try it out. I love this rose gold box. The packaging already looks great so far As soon as I saw it on trend mood, I was like I have to have it because I love me a soft glam neutrals Okay, so I was very very excited to try it out. So Here it goes So this is the palette. How gorgeous is that? So this is the major dimension eyeshadow palette. It's got the shade names on the back. Everything about it is very stunning. I know this is gonna get very gross very quick, but oh well. So this palette has like multiple formulas in it. It's got mattes, it got, it's got creams, it's got mattes with glitter, and it's got like topper shades. So I'm really, really excited to try it out. So yeah, that is what that looks like. Stunning. What? So one thing I loved about this palette is that even though it's warm toned, it's not overly warm. So I felt like I could create some scrumdily amateurish looks with it. I have so many things in mind that I want to create with this palette, but today I'm just gonna go for what I know. I'm gonna do my basic um, glittery soft glam, so I can get it to use most of these shades. Not most of these shades, but most of these formulas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it with a little bit of a twist. If you guys seen my recent makeup tutorial, I'll link it up here. I did like this smoky eye and what I did was I used my cream contour on my lids and I set it with bronzer and then I did this like smoky liner look which this palette would be perfect for. For that look I had to dip into so many different mediums and so many different products but with this palette you could do that look just with this palette which I love. I love the mirror, the mirror is really high quality. So yeah, I already know what I'm gonna do on my eyes today. <laughs> so let's just get into it. I'm gonna take this flat yet fluffy brush. It's not too skinny, but it does have some fluff to it. And I'm gonna use that with the cream shade. This shade here. Ooh, I like how stiff it is. So it's not like, I was scared that I put my brush into it and it just like dives deep in but like no it, it has a bit of oh so this color is not as dark as I was hoping for so I'm gonna have to just go into the dark shade because this color is not really dark at all I'm just gonna place that on like this just want to create like a shape for the shadow to follow. I wanted to use the light brown because I didn't want it to be too heavy or dark, but at the same time, the light brown wasn't showing up, so you have to do what you have to do. In future, if I wanted to do this exact thing again, I would just mix them because I feel like this is a bit too heavy for my liking, like it's a bit too dark straight away. I do like the formula so far, it's very pigmented and also very firm like it's not too too emollient or slippy okay so that is on the two eyes look kind of a little bit different but we'll sort that out i'm just going to take a fluffy brush and just blend that up and out as you can tell we're just playing around with the palette because obviously i don't know what the palette forms like right now but yeah i do like it though mother I believe. I'm going to use that to just set what we've just put down. There's not a lot of kickback in the pan which is great. It's 
thought it's quite rich. Love that. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Absolutely, which is the shade here, to so just blend out the edges. So it's definitely a lot more intense than I intended, but we move. So I'm just going back into Mother and just like blending out, bringing it into a B shade. This Mother shade is not as intense as I thought it would be, but it is not bad. But sometimes shades are just like, Ooh. and it's a bit too scary, but this is okay. So now I'm gonna go into the shade Scandal. I'm gonna use that to deepen up the edge. This shade does have kickback. Mother has less kickback than this shade. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna go back into the brush that I used to do the first shade, Mother, and just blend that in. So I'm not gonna lie, this is very messy and I'm very scared, but I think it will all come together. Then I'm gonna go into this beautiful bronze shimmery shade here. Not that one, this one. This one is called Legendary, I believe. Ooh, I love the feel of it. You can tell that's gonna give me the intensity that I'm going for. Ah, that's gorgeous. That is such a beautiful shade. Oh my gosh. It looks a lot lighter on the eye than I was expecting it to, but it's so foiled and metallic and with like glitter in it. It's stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Gorgeous. I'm just gonna buff that dark colour into it on the outer edge. I'm gonna take a flat brush and then I'm gonna go into this beautiful topper shade here and that is the shade Opulence. And I'm gonna use that on my inner lid. I, thought, I heard that you're meant to wet this but I will wet it but I want to, um, I want to try it dry first. Okay, dry it's not bad so I'm just kind of doing like a faux soft cut, cut crease yeah that is pretty so I fiddled around with the look a little bit just did it did a little bit of blending back and forth and to be honest I like the way it's looking right now I didn't do a lot just you know the same thing you saw me do I just you know did it for a little bit longer and I got to a place where I'm happy with it like it is more intense than I was going for but then I think I should have just stuck with the first base I used but you know it's a bit of a learning curve I do like the way it looks I'm just gonna finish it up with you so he came out with gel liners too, but I didn't pick the gel liners up. I already have this brown liner from Revlon that I'm in love with. It's in the shade Mighty Mocha, and it's the So Fierce Final Eyeliner. So I love this liner. I've been using it a lot recently. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it to intensify my waterline. I'm just gonna be frank with you guys. I just don't think I need a 22 pound waterline. Like, I mean, 22 pound eyeliner. I'm sure they are very nice, but like, come on. Since the look is already quite intense, I'm just gonna intensify it to the max. I'm gonna take a fluffy pointed brush and I'm gonna go into the shade, the shade Absolutely. And I'm gonna use that as the first shade. I'm gonna use that basically as a transition shade. And now, ooh, I like how smoky that is. That's really nice. And now to intensify it, all the way, I'm gonna go into the shade Scandal. I'm just going into that with a tightly packed pencil brush and I'm gonna go really close to the waterline. I'm gonna try and drag that out to join. Yeah. So this is the finished look and I guess it's just one of those cases of trust the process because I actually like it in the end. It was, I don't know, it was tough getting here. Like it wasn't as smooth as usually popping out these bronze looks are. 
I do love the eyes. I think it looks very nice, very sultry. It's not as warm as I thought it was gonna look, especially this peach look like a peach eyeshadow that I put in the center. I thought it was going to be more warm, but it looks very champagne. But yeah. Mm. Even like the bronzy color that I put on the outer edge. I guess maybe because of my skin tone, it doesn't pull as warm. But um, yeah, when I was seeing it on more fair skin tones, I was like, oh, I can't wait to get it. But I do like that it's not overly warm though. So I'm not hating on it. I love the formula of the um, shimmers. The mattes are more intense than I thought it was gonna be. Everything just was like a little bit different than what I thought it was gonna be. So that's why the journey was just so, what's going on? But the look that came out is really pretty. I tried to put like a baby lash on so that it's not too, too, dramatic and it doesn't cover the look up um i don't think i got it as like tapered and winged as i wanted it to but i will do more and more looks with this shadow palette so let me know if you want to see that i do need to show you guys some swatches so i'm gonna do that right now but yeah i really, really like the look it looks really nice very reminiscent to what i do on a normal day but yeah swatches Yeah, this is that first cream shade and it just doesn't look as, I don't know, as deep as I thought it was going to look as basically my skin tone, which is workable, it's good, but it just wasn't what I was expecting. I do love them. I feel like a lot of them are too similar. Mm. I'm going to work with this palette a lot. So my final thoughts on this palette, is it worth £58? That is the hot question. Um, I would say if you don't have anything like this, then maybe it is pretty unique in terms of the formulas. Like the fact that it has a cream incorporated in the, it has two creams incorporated in the palette, I would say that it's very different. Like there's not a lot of palettes like that, especially deeper creams. Usually if it has a cream, it's gonna be like a light base, which I do believe that this, sh this palette should have had a light cream. I feel like I would have benefited from this palette more if the cream was light, because then I would be able to use it as a base for the lighter shades. But I do appreciate it for what it is. I love the creams, I love the concept of the creams because I told you recently I have been doing that. I've been using my cream bronzer on my lids. Um, the creams are not too liquidy, not too creamy, which is good. They do have some time before they dry down, which is really good. The um, shimmers are to die for. The shimmers are so beautiful. They are like really, really metallic with like little bits of shimmer running through it which is just oh i love me a molten gold kind of shade i love that kind of thing the colors are like it's not too warm it's warm but it's not too warm it's very lovely and bronzy the, this shade on the inner corner i expected it to be more bronzy but it's not but i don't know i'm not gonna lie i don't know how i feel about that but to be honest i have plenty of other palettes to, to fulfill that warm tone that I like so is it is it worth about 58 pounds I guess it just depends on you I would say a palette that is very reminiscent to it is the soft glam palette I do love this palette I am very happy that I got it I'm not regretful at all um, I feel like I could get a lot a lot a lot of use out of this palette because me I love my bronzes I feel like all the shades that I like all in one place makes this palette very useful for me but it just depends on you and if you are like me I love this kind of look is is me I love this kind of look like this is the kind of look I go for so if you're also like that and you like a more bronzy kind of look sorry I'm holding my hand like really high because I don't want to get this these swatches on my but look at the swatches again 
let's even get distracted but yeah if you are like me and you like bronzy shades soft glam you're gonna love this palette and I, I have a lot of soft glam looks coming for you guys I have a lot of soft glam looks so tell me what you want to see and I'll do that for you I didn't get the liners because I really didn't think they were worth it but this palette I'm very happy that I got it um I love the feel of the bases I love the way that it's not too too soft but it's also very blendable I think like obviously with everything that's new you're gonna know you're gonna need some time to figure it out and figure out all oh, how you like to use it how you like um how it works for you but this palette is gorgeous it is stunning 58 pounds is a lot though but if you got it why not why not it's not a need it's not a must have but then again what makeup is but it is pretty stunning so yeah that is my final thoughts on the palette because i don't know what to say there are a lot of palettes that are similar to it but it does have unique elements i just love the fact that it's warm but not too warm it's not too orangey like the new palettes from um from huda beauty as much as i love huda beauty if you know me you know i love huda beauty the new palettes from huda beauty are very warm and orangey and pinky so this is like the good antithesis antithesis to that Whereas some of the shades are very warm and some of the shades are a bit more neutral. So I love that. But yeah, I love, I love this look. But yeah, I can't wait to create more looks like this for you guys. So let me know if you like this. Let me know if you like this video. And I'd love to see you again in the next one. Bye.